What's new with Let's Eat? Dollar Tree Dinners. I'm Suzanne Ridgway, this is Let Us Eat, and welcome to my channel. I am going to be showing you how to make an awesome Dollar Tree dinner, and it's going to be for $7 or less. And we're going to make a tortilla chicken bake today. And it's going to feed four with leftovers. And I'm going to show you step by step how to prep this. And it's going to be awesome. If you are new here, thank you so much. Welcome. For those of you who watch me on a regular basis, welcome back. Thank you so much for everyone's support. I do all kinds of videos on my channel. I like to do cooking, Dollar Tree dinners especially, Dollar Tree hauls, grocery hauls, free food hauls, and I also do cleaning videos, extreme cleaning videos, as well as decluttering and organizing. If any of this interests you, definitely click on that subscribe word. Give this video a big thumbs up and tap on that bell so you'll be notified by YouTube when I upload new content. Let's get cooking. You will need from the Dollar Tree the wraps, one can of the chicken, two if you can't find the large ones, salsa, any of their brands, any brands of their beans. I have the red kidney beans for this one. They carry the Rotel and the other Mexican brand, and I have this tomatoes and green chilies, an onion that I have from my pantry, two bricks of their real cheese my taco seasoning, and my black pepper. I'm going to go ahead and dice up my onion. And then I'm going to throw it right in the bowl. Always be careful around knives and sharp objects. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. Run the knife through and get it into a nice diced form. And take your bowl. Scrape the onions right in. Now this is going to be thrown together really quickly and I'll make sure I list all the ingredients in my description box below and how to make it. I'm going to open up the can of the tomatoes and green chilies. I'm going to dump it right in to the diced tomatoes. It already smells amazing. Then I'm going to take the entire jar of the salsa and if your husband's not home and you have trouble opening up jars just give it a tap on the counter and it usually loosens up and just dump the entire jar into the bowl with the tomatoes and chilies and the onion. Then I'm going to open up my chicken and I'm going to drain all the chicken juice. This is a really quick, easy weeknight dinner that doesn't require a lot of effort, that tastes amazing. Smells amazing. You can use it with rotisserie chicken. Make sure you drain completely. 
and then you're going to dump the chicken right on in. Now I'm going to open the kidney beans and I'm going to rinse and drain these. Nice and rinsed. Just dump them into the bowl. You're going to take your fresh black cracked pepper. And I do that magic number three, three teaspoons. I'm just going to eyeball it. I wish we had smell vision It smells awesome. And then I'm going to open the, the bigger end because we're going to do a couple of tablespoons of the taco seasoning. Just going to eyeball it in. And we're going to mix it. This is already cooked chicken, which is excellent. And with those beans, it's going to really stretch the chicken further. I'm going to set the bowl aside and we're going to slice the cheese. Normally you could grate your cheese because it's such a thin brick. I'm going to just slice it. This is the real cheese that the Dollar Tree carries in the refrigerated section. by Lakeview and it's about five ounces. And I'm just going to slice it thin. I wish you can smell the chicken mixture for this tortilla bake. Oh my word, it smells amazing. I hope everybody had a wonderful Mother's Day, as well as all the single dads out there. I went hiking on Friday and Sunday, and I posted a short video of my trip Friday to Rensselaerville to the waterfall. We climbed to the top. It's a very easy climb. It's for beginners. It's a wonderful trail and a stunning three-tier waterfall that goes on forever. And it was flowing perfectly from all the rain we've been having. And then yesterday, for Mother's Day, I went over to Cohoes Falls. And the walkway is open, and we got to go to the aqueduct and back to the entrance, which is about a half a mile. And it's also a beginner's trail. And Although, if you don't like stairs, there's at least 30 of them, and it's steep all the way down. I can get down them, but it does take a few minutes. And at the bottom, with the views of the waterfall, it's just absolutely breathtaking. Because I normally only see it from the upper view from the other side of it. It looks like a little Niagara Falls, Cohoes Falls, and it's close to home. I'm just going to slice the cheese this way. I love these big knives. You can get so much done so quickly. I have my casserole dish. The oven should almost be preheated, and I'm going to spray it with the butter spray. We're going to open our tortillas. You get so many of these for a dollar, and they're delicious. Just be careful of the shelf life on them. I have my 
ice cream scoop and I have my tortilla shell laying down on a casserole dish. And I'm going to take a scoop of the chicken mixture. And just lay it like that on top of the tortilla shell. And put a little bit of cheese in it. And this is real cheese, so it's going to melt nicely. And then you're going to roll it up as tight as you can. And don't worry if any of the food spills out. And you're just going to sit it in there like that. There's a lot of food here. It's going to feed more than four. My neighbors are having work done on their roof. You may be hearing noise in the background at times. And my teen is home getting ready to go to tech school. These are very generous tortilla bakes that I'm prepping here. I'm doing a small casserole dish for now, and then I'm going to fold up the rest of these for the freezer. And I'm going to spray the, the tortillas. And I'm going to crumble up some cheese. I'm going to put this in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes until all the cheese is melted. I have my tray for the freezer. I'm just going to spray it. I'm going to lay my shell right down. And we're going to use up the rest of the shells. You can do these with breakfast as well and make breakfast burritos with some eggs and some beans and some bell peppers. Dollar Tree carries frozen bell peppers. They're called pepper stir fry. And I use those all the time because bell peppers can be pretty expensive and when they're not in season, the frozen is a great way to go. And that just means that my oven's now preheated in the background. Continue to fill the tray all the way to the end. Don't worry if anything spills out. There is so much food. This could easily feed six for six dollars or four with leftovers. Two more shells left. 
two more spoonfuls left. Perfect. And I'll just snack on the extra cheese here. When you go to bake this on another day, you're going to just take some fresh cheese to sprinkle on the top. Such a big pieces of chicken. I was excited to find a large can at the Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to cover it and we're going to label it for the freezer. We're going to write on here, chicken tortilla bake. May 9th, cook in a preheated oven, 350 degrees, for 25 minutes until cheese is melted. Add cheese on top of tortillas. It is extremely important to put the date because this is good up to six months in your freezer. And then I'm going to cover this. And because I didn't have to cook anything prior to it, I don't have to let it cool down before I put it in the freezer. I'm actually going to get another foil sheet and double layer the foil here. And you're going to cover it. That made a lot of food for $6. It filled up this entire tray, plus my casserole dish that's in the oven. And we'll be checking on those in a moment. Let's look into my oven. Oh my, look how awesome that looks. All the cheese is nice and melted and bubbly. I'm going to let it finish out before I take it out of the oven and then I'll show you what it looks like on a plate. These are my tortilla chicken bakes and they look absolutely amazing and smells delicious and the cheese is just oozing all over the place with the salsa and the tomatoes and chilies with all the big chicken chunks and kidney beans. It's going to be fantastic. We're going to take it out of the casserole dish. And I'm going to put some on my plate here for you to see. Look how awesome that looks. And that real cheese melted so nicely. And we are going to go ahead and try this with all the big chicken chunks and the beans. Mmm, this is really good. The tortilla chicken bake, it's delicious. I'll make sure that everything you need to know is in my description box below. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make the chicken tortilla bakes as much as I enjoy teaching you. And as you saw, it made a lot of food. I made some for today and we filled up an entire aluminum pan to put away in the freezer for another night. And it's going to feed 
four. This is an awesome way to go. I'll put all the items that you need to purchase in my description box below, as well as how to make this a delicious a chicken tortilla bake. And again, if they don't have the big size chicken cans, which they don't always do, grab two to three of the smaller cans. Just keep in mind, it won't be exactly $6, it may be seven or eight, to feed your family between four and six or more. If you are new here, I really appreciate you watching me all the way to the end to learn how to make this yummy Mexican dish for less. If any of my videos are interesting to you at all, please consider subscribing. Give this video a big thumbs up and tap on that bell.